Thank you. That was very informative, folks, and engaging. Thank you for your answers. Uh, yeah. I, I have a question to TJ. So, TJ, you said uh, you're going to uh, propose the property tax increase? The way I heard that was by bringing more people from the Bay Area, Wait, the property it, taxes will increase. increase. Yeah. Is that yeah. a wrong statement, sir? No, no, I no. thought okay. that you were proposing that. <laughs> That's a good point of clarification. Yeah. Communication is key. Uh, assuming that we uh, are able to uh, pass Measure D and become a city July 1st this year, uh, there is another measure that's on the ballot as well, which is Measure E. Uh, Brian explained a bit of it. It's, uh, it has to do with, it's not in effect in this election, but it'll be in effect the next time. It has three choices. One is the voting at large, which is what we do now. Uh, the other choice is uh, vote, a vote by district. And the third choice is from district, which is distinct from by district by a simple fact that the person who is running for the district, all of the residents can vote for that person. Uh, the question is for all of the candidates. Uh, two minutes and uh, others can chime in, one minute. I can start from this side Let's this time. Sure. Um, and uh, uh, the question is, uh, please give us your uh, preferences in terms of the three choices and explain why you have picked that choice. Thank you. Sure. So Major E essentially talks about if when Major D passes, then what type of governance we will have in the city of Mountain House. Now, the default, which is at this point in time with CSD, is at large. That is one option. The other option, as we say, by district and from district. Now, uh, the, the one that I want to support is from district. Why? The reason is with the current at large, it's kind of a shared responsibility. What I believe myself as having a responsibility assigned, with that comes the accountability. But not to the extent which by district gives it, makes it more restrictive with that, with that, within the district. It has to be local district people only voting for that. So that makes it more restrictive option. So out of the three from district is more relaxed option so that you have, you have a representation, uh, an individual is a city council for a specific district, but the entire uh, voter, entire population votes for this individual. So that's much more, much more um, viable option to say. Uh, but at the same time, I know certain people have concerns that Mountain House is not as big. We have 27,000 population. Yeah, it's growing every three, um, since 2020, we have grown by 3,000. And we don't need such governance. But yes, uh, the rate at which we are growing, we will need it at certain point in time. So at this time, we have to pass this major E with option uh, from district. That's my <coughs> opinion. Yeah. Okay, I vote for at large. My personal belief is that it'll build the community. Um, it'll promote diversity. It seems like, you know, uh, my wife and I, and you know, we moved here from North Carolina after my last assignment at uh, Fort, you know, Fort uh, Bragg, now Liberty. Um, we were thinking, you know, we'll end up in a place where there'll be different kinds of people, but we ended up you know, in a place which looks like New Delhi, which is okay, which is fine, you know. Um, I've lived in India for, for a few years, but, you know, we've moved to this country for diversity, so I'm all for it. Um, I think everybody should have a say, you know, instead of just uh, dividing, you know, in the, into small little community, communities. I think everybody should have a say in this community. You know, we should come together as one. That's, how, that's what will make us strong. That's what will protect us. Um, that's how we will thrive and survive and, and stay strong. And I have vested interest. It's my two kids. 
I'm not sitting over here losing thousands of dollars, which I can make in my practice. I'm here to serve, and I have the right mindset. Over. Thank you very much. Um, to answer the question succinctly, I would be in favor for voting at large. And the main reason of being able to vote at large is because, number one, we don't know how the districting would be done. That's the decision that would have to be made. And teaming is extremely important to me. And I'm thinking if you did by district, um, you may end up having council people that are just vying for what their district wants. And this is a togetherness type thing. And that way, if it's voting by at large, it comes to the council, the mayor, the council, and as a unity, the council would decide by priority what's needed in any, any district. And that's where it's no favoritism. Because people do, if you're responsible for supporting a particular area, what have you, that's what you will do, support that area. Yep. So at large, is a, it's been working for 15 years, and I'll give it 15 more to work. <laughs> we good? Yeah, I'm in favor of at large. And one of the uh, main reason is, is because uh, in Mountain House, we're a family. And when you start going through district, and I've seen it with other cities, you know, it might be joking, but it's like, well, my district's going to do this, or my district's going to do that. Um, again, like I said, we're a family, and I want to be able to represent everybody. And so it's very important to me that we have uh, um, an at-large, and so that way... Um, we get everybody's input and that we support every single resident and citizen in Mountain House. Thank you. I am fully against to the at-large because at-large is going to give an, I mean, basically right now the model which is electing like from same village, like a lot of people, I mean like three earlier, two, two. So probably I also against the um, sorry, from the district. So from the district, basically hap what happens is um, the candidates should be from the district and then the voters also going to be from the district. So I would support by district. By district means like the candidates should be residing within the district but elected by entire mountain house. So that is going to be the fair uh, more, I mean district division we support. I mean we should support I think that is very fair so because so that's going to be secure or represent the district people problems and then at the and then also at the same time the person who elects from the district is going to secure the entire mountain house interest as well so it's going to be two-way it's going to be helpful I definitely would vote for at large. Anybody that knows me knows that I am for all of Mountain House, not specific areas or districts. We all are one community. I believe somebody said that we are a family. I believe in that. I believe in supporting each other, no matter your race, your religion, or anything else that people use to separate us. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so involved now is because that's one thing I never want to see happen in Mountain House, and that is to see us be divided. Not by district, not by neighborhood, not by household, not by anything. At large. I'm also in support of at-large. Uh, I will say a small thing is our town is not just a collection of streets or buildings. It is a community of people with diverse backgrounds, aspirations, and dreams. And that's why when we are making a decision, we should make it uh, by being together, united as we can be. Thank you. I am against anything but at-large because if you factor, we have 27,000 people right now, and myself, Manny Moreno, Andy Sue, who am I missing? And Harry Dillon, 
all live in one village. <laughs> then you have Miss Bernice Tingle, a founder, a pioneer, excuse me, of Wickland. <laughs> Elections aren't new here. Neither is the board. Neither are any of the villages beyond the second half of Cordis and all of College Park. So if you figure there's eight people sitting in front of you right now, I'd like to do a quick poll of residents at this table because we are 0.026% of our current population. Drive that up to 32,000 people, our potential for the next two years when there's an election. What happens when this eight people are up for two seats and none of them are from that district or nobody steps up to represent, represent that district? Then what? So if I can get a show of hands based on the seven out of eight communities that we're gonna have here based on the master plan. How many live in Cuesta and Altamont? How many live in Bethany, Wickland? How many live in Cordes Hanson? So who is gonna represent Cordes Hanson? College Park, let me see your hand. You are Hanson, right? Yeah, I'm oh, I'm sorry, College Park Hanson. So we have one representative who if you are one- You're College Park? No, no, not yet. Okay. Cordes Hanson, <laughs> we have one person. So if elected, that person would represent today if this were on the ballot for now. College Park, same thing, one person. It doesn't add up. So vote for open enrollment for any member. Thank you. At large. At large. At large. Uh, TJ. Yeah, yeah just, just a quick thing I want to say. You know, some of the villages are quite new, mm -hmm. and people are just moving in. And you know maybe people who are, who've been running in this in this board they have an unfair advantage because they all know each other, but now folks are finding out. Since you know I made a decision, um, I'm sure somebody else will make a decision too. Hopefully, um, so again, you know, resonating with at large as we become the community, I think everybody everybody will have a nice, uh, a good fair chance to run from anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's College Park or you know whatever the other four villages which are going to be coming up. So I, I'm thinking, hopefully, I'm pretty uh, optimistic that in the next few years, the dynamics will change as long as we have a diverse community. Over. Mr. Mir. Yeah. So out of the three options, uh, we have heard about the at large and. Uh, by district or from district. The from district option uh, turns out to be a kind of a hybrid between uh, the at-large and the by district. So we have kind of um, the best of the both worlds in this option while we are progressing in the growth of the city population. Thank you, and we have a rebuttal from Mr. Disco. And w one thing I forgot to add as part of my ramble, um, it's important that everyone involved, whether it be on the board or city council, fosters and adopts the entire community as a whole, which avoids special interests if there's any certain things that benefit one village or the other that are left to the decision of one person and not all. Thank you. Can I add something, please? Go ahead. I just wanted to say, I, I think we're on the right track with this, because look at our national night out. Where do we have it? We have it at Central Park. Okay, before we had some different neighborhoods, some well, were real successful, others just a couple show up. But I like the fact right now, everybody, we all come to Central Park as a family and we celebrate National Night Out together. So I, th I think uh, we're on the right road. Uh, that's already kind of been the norm and uh, hopefully it'll continue like that. Thank you. I'll get to you in a minute, Mr. Bayer. Yeah. I think my, my point again here is that like, okay, uh, when we are dividing the district, so you will contest from the district, but at the same time, you are representing the entire mountain house because the voters of the, I mean, of, the, of your election is going to be from the entire mountain house. So that's going to be secure the interest of the, your uh, our issues you are going to represent from your district, as well as you are going to secure the entire mountain house. So there is no a breakage of uni unity here. So we are united because you know this person has to uh, represent the entire mountain house as well. So it's the same as at large, but it's going to be uh, give a equal representation geographically or de uh, demographics wise. 
So, and then also California uh, Waters Right Act is going to dictate that we have to divide as a district. Right now, LUSD is doing the same thing. So uh, it's dividing the districts because they are having a lawsuit uh, compliance. If I may just interject. So Suresh, I, I'm a little confused. Are you in favor of by district or from district? Because it sounded like you were talking from district. So from district is you have to be from the district you're representing, but everybody in town can vote for you. By district is you have to be from that district and only the people in that district can vote for you. That's the distinction. So from district? From district. From district. Thank you. And TJ, you have something? All right, just a little quick segue since uh, Dan pointed out that what, what, uh, night out what? I don't even know, okay? So what I think, having a transparent broadcasting platform is what I would advocate for. I, I am busy too, I have other things going on. I just feel like most of the information, this dude is just working so hard, Brian. He's the one who's putting things up or we get an email or something like that. But I think as a city, we need to have a platform, a communi communication platform, right? Like whatever is going on, I, I mean, we'll find out. Um, and we can, I can attend as well too. I miss that boat for sure, right? So that's one thing. And then um, Suresh, to, to him, just remember we are all paying for the bonds. You know, it does not matter whichever district you are going to, we're all gonna have to pay for the dollars, you know, for special taxes and all that. It cannot be like you pay less or you pay more and things like that. So, over. You gotta love the passion. I, you know, as long as you guys want to talk about this, why two, not? Two seconds. Matt, and then we'll go to Bernice here. So just for context, even though College Park is not fully built out, the percentage of people that are certified voters just for that district, as of now, for every home that is occupied, is 4%. So I don't understand how that's sustainable long term unless those demographics change significantly, which they may. Okay. Okay, then I'll uh, I'll make this brief. I just want to uh, piggyback off of a comment that uh, Mr. T.J. Uh, uh, iterated is that one of the things, and maybe this will come up later, it's important that our community, our city, our town have a viable way of communicating and getting input from everyone. And that's always been a concern of mine. Everyone is not on social media all the time or looking at things. We need some type of way uh, where each community is able to get input so we can make better decisions for the town and the direction. Because we can't know where to go unless you tell us where to go. Right. And I don't mean it like that. But we... <laughs> <laughs> but it's important to know you can only be as effective as the people that you're representing and you need to know what it is that we want if, if things change. Thank you. I'm over and out. Uh, very quick, very quick. So, okay, then in that case, then why you, why these representatives didn't go even to the LUSD hearing? LUSD is dividing, I mean, proposed to divide the uh, district. So no one showed up there. No one, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, attended any hearing. And then I'm the one from this board, you know, been there. And then I'm the one, you know, uh, outreach a lot of the people. So I don't see any concern from these representatives in when LUSD is dividing as a district. So when there is an issue, if you think this one is an issue, then why you didn't, uh, you know, concern for the LUSD division? All, All right, right. I, I got something else to say. Hey, Matt, um, it's unfortunate the people who are living in College Park, they cannot vote. But, you know, that's, that's an unfortunate scenario. Um, and maybe that's the reason don't, nobody goes and, uh, you know, uh, canvas over there. I was told, hey, there's no need to go over, there's no votes. But they're paying the taxes. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, that's a big thing. So how can we fix this problem? I mean, can we advocate for people who are on green cards to still be yes. part of this whole thing? Yes. We are a community. Thank you. Right? They're, they're, they're going to be paying for the 
you know, the water plant, and the, the sewer plant, and a whole bunch of things. So, you know, I, I believe they should have an equal say. So I don't know how, I mean, I, I'm not into this whole politics thing yet, but somehow they need to be included. You know? Yeah, or well, people my, who are not, I mean, they my have comment, houses. My comment wasn't targeting their representation. It was about the candidates, what they no, would I, be needed from at district, from district. It's, it's as of right now, right. there's no changing federal law for elected positions, whether at a city level, state level, that's federal. I'm tracking you. But, it's, it, but if, <laughs> if it's going to be a district, but, you know, it should not be the fact that, you know, they are not citizens or anything like well, I mean, that. that I that's, mean, just, that's what's required to currently sit at this table. Right. And so, so it is something to be taken into account by the residents when they decide on how they want their cities split up or how they want the city split up into districts if that's what they're going to be in favor of. Correct, correct. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm talking from a different point of view over here. Yeah. That's, uh, one thing. One thing yeah. I can say is yeah. that this Tuesday night, the community services district general manager Steve Pinkerton is holding a community meeting, and he will largely be talking about this issue. Right. So I, I think all of you should be there and bring your neighbors and and let people know what this is about and let people make an informed decision. Tuesday morning. Yeah. Tuesday, <laughs> seven, seven. Tuesday seven, p.m. seven p.m. Seven p.m. All right. Yeah. Cool. And let's, we're going to move on.